I'm here to talk to you about two solutions I've come up for to sort of six African problems. Uh, Africa today has almost one billion people. A hundred years or oh, 90 now, 96, 94 years from now, we are going to be some four billion people on the continent. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. while the Western world is well advanced in post-harvest handling of crops, Africa still struggles with makeshift post-handling post technologies. This is also compounded by uh, the need to feed uh, the growing population using chemicals and pesticides. One of the challenges Africa faces today is how, especially municipal councils, is how to handle waste plastics. Uh, my research has focused on finding solutions to this. So the first thing I did as a PhD in chemical engineering, I designed a small-scale pyrolysis reactor. It looks simple, but it solves the problem. So what I do, I take plastic waste, put it in the reactor, the top right corner I get fuels, fuel oils. I have done it again with used cooking oil. The middle picture, I get biodiesel. I've done it with wood and I get biochar. The first uh, white container you see, if I do my selection right, I get tar from waste uh, material. And then with that tar, uh, I'm able to tarmac. So in other words, Africa can tarmac her roads using waste materials. The unit cost uh, of this technology, of course it looks simple, but there's um, a lot of thermodynamics and material balance I had to do, is only 2,000 US dollars. So we are talking about scaling up. The other thing I've done, I've, uh, I've observed that Africa, African farmers have problems with post-harvest technologies for primary processing, plowing their fields in a timely manner, uh, irrigation, uh, transport, which is hiding also of agricultural material, and then farmers also have problems keeping up with charged phones such that they can know exactly what is the price of their products. So this motivated me to develop a three-wheel tractor, vehicle, that could solve all these five problems at a go. So what I did, uh, what I did, I developed this vehicle uh, I use it for the farmers, use it to thresh maize, that's the top picture. It can plow, a three disc plow. I can pump water up to around four, uh, 45, 45 meter head. I can transport roughly 19 people. A physio, the physiology, doc, the doctors tell us that on average somebody should be seven, 70 kilos. So uh, 17 times 19, that's the amount of road I have. I can charge phones. Ladies and gentlemen, in front there is the Chinese ambassador to Uganda. When I was launching it, he was mesmerized and he came to the launch. Behind there is the vice chancellor of Makere University. The cameraman was mean, he didn't show me, but I'm also behind that innovation. <laughs> I invite you also to watch a small video. Uh, I, uh, I ran this uh, tractor on a bad road to show you a typical African road when it has rained, that it really works. I made it simple. For 4,500 US dollars, you can change the lives of farmers. I thank you very much.